with their owner banned for life for his racist remarks. The L.A. Clippers players and fans are moving forward. I don't think this is something that, um, you know, we rejoice in or, or anything like that. I think they were just happy that it was a resolution and it's over. Time ago. The Clippers hosted the Golden State Warriors in a playoff game tonight, just hours after the new NBA commissioner announced Donald Sterling's punishment. Nine on your sides, Justin Shecker has been tracking reaction and joins us live in the newsroom. Justin. A guy still, there was speculation the players would stage a walkout or the fans would boycott tonight's game at Staples Center. Instead, the basketball world is at peace following the commissioner's historic decision. Mr. Sterling's views, they simply have no place in the NBA. After an NBA investigation verified this voice. Don't come to my games. Don't bring black people and don't come. Commissioner Adam Silver made it clear. Donald Sterling no longer has a place in the NBA. I am banning Mr. Sterling for life from any association with the Clippers organization or the NBA. A harsh punishment plus the max $2.5 million fine handed down in response to the racist rant recorded by Sterling's girlfriend. Do you know that you have a whole team that's black that plays for you? You just, do I know? I support them and give them food and clothes and cars and houses. Players who condemn Sterling for his comments are praising Silver for his resolute response. On this day, Adam Silver is not only the owner's commissioner, he is also the player's commissioner. Now it's up to the other 29 owners to decide the next phase of Sterling's fate. A three-quarters vote will force him to sell the Los Angeles Clippers. I fully ex expect to get the support I need from the other NBA owners to remove him. Outspoken Dallas Mavericks owner Mark Cuban tweeted his support for Silver today, but he has also said this could lead the league to, down a slippery really slope. For the players outraged by Sterling's racist remarks. This is not a slippery slope. This is a cliff, and this man has fall, fallen off a cliff, and that's just the reality. The Phoenix Suns owner and Tucson native Robert Sarver is among those expected to vote in favor of forcing Sterling to sell the Clippers. Reporting live in the newsroom, I'm Justin Shecker, KGA 9 on your side. Justin, thank you.